welcome to the studio here in Paris. This afternoon we're talking energy systems integration with Madeleine McPherson. Madeleine, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Perhaps the most important question, what is energy systems integration? So energy systems integration is really about uh, coordinating the planning and operation of different energy systems. We can talk about the power system, transport systems, building system, various industrial systems. Um, across various time scales, across different um, uh, vectors. So we can think about um, how do we actually plan these systems to work together in a, um, an efficient and flexible way, and where are there synergies at the intersection between these, sector, these sectors that can really help us uh, decarbonize more fully. So why is this important? Well, as we start to go towards deep decarbonization, uh, we have to start thinking about how to decarbonize beyond the electricity system. So when we think about decarbonizing the electricity system, uh, we often talk about integrating more renewables, uh, the importance of storage in that. Uh, but then once we get beyond the electricity system, we need to start thinking about how to decarbonize the transport system and the building system. And that's where it can become a little bit more tricky. Uh, so electric vehicles are a really good example of one of these technologies that can help decarbonize the transport system in that case, but really requires the cooperation with the electricity system. So how do we, how do we plan and operate those two systems together to really achieve deep decarbonization cuts? Um, and we, and we, could, we could have sort of similar examples in, in the heating sector. So how do we uh, transition from us using natural gas, for example, uh, into uh, heat pumps, which again, electricity, or uh, different types of, of non-carbon-based fuels. Uh, so we start to, again, look at a really tight coupling between the building system or the heating system and the electricity system. So I think energy systems integration really becomes important for decarbonization. Um, and I think where there's a lot of opportunity here is really looking for efficiency or uh, flexibility gains really at the intersection between those systems. What are some of the challenges though in terms of bringing this to fruition? So I think the challenges sort of, I think we can categorize them in three broad uh, areas. There's the physical system that we're actually dealing with and the technologies that um, are at different stages of maturity. Uh, we can talk about institutional challenges, and so uh, s stakeholders or actors in the in the power system who now have to be uh, working with people in the in the transport system and building system who maybe they haven't had to coordinate with before. Um, different, uh, uh, and we can have a, a sort of similar conversation about different levels of government as well, from the municipal to the provincial to the federal, um, because, for example, transport systems, at least in the Canadian context, are often are conversations that municipalities will have. The electricity system is something that is planned and operated at the provincial level, and then we have uh, federal carbon targets. So now we need those three levels of government to be talking with one another. So I think there's institutional challenges um, around, around those those different cross sectors and also those different cross scales. Uh, and then we can also talk about societal challenges. So uh, when we're talking about electric vehicles, for example, um, adoption rates for different electric vehicles or um, demand response, asking people to change their behavior um, really comes down to a societal question. So how do we, how do we, how do we ask society or how can society um, contribute also to the transition? So, so really I think the challenges, uh, depending on who you talk to, uh, really stem across a number of those different areas. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thanks it's so much for having me. It's been amazing having the chance to talk to you. And from Paris, thank you for joining us.